Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be talking about No Man's Sky. And you can probably see behind me that I've got like an Omega picture up. Let me jump over to the Tinter web so you can see that a little bit better, people inside of the viewerverse. And here I am, over on Tinterwebs, over on the screen here. And you can see here that there's only five hours remaining of the expedition. Okay, so what happens when that does draw to a conclusion? Well, the little bar above, you know, Johnny Five's Quicksilver store should start moving again. And we should start unlocking Quicksilver items. So here's the community mission research. And then that should jump over to here, which is the flying decal. And we've got this one, which I can't pronounce for the life of me. And then a blue system decal. All costing about 400 Quicksilver each, which roughly they take for every 200 Quicksilver, I say about a day and a half, roughly, on how long it takes to unlock. So you're talking about a good week there, a good seven days. Yeah, and then moving on over to here, we've got these items here, and you can see they're a little bit more. But they're not really in keeping for spring or summer, are they, these ice statues? And they're 500 Quicksilver a throw. So maybe nine days for all of those. Yeah. And then we've got three more decals. Now, the thing is, when you look at these snowy type icy ones, I actually did some content back in January where I talked about all these coming to an end because we've got all the other previous ice statues. Then it was supposed to go to the decals, ice statues and decals again, just like I showed. Now look, we got these ones prior. We had all these ice statues here. This was back in December when they were relevant. Yeah. Then I thought in January we'd get these. And then to the tail end of January, in the tail end of winter, I thought we'd get these. And then before we got the Omega Expedition, I thought we was going to unlock all of these. I would have thought we would have had all of these already unlocked and already done. That wasn't the case. Now, I rang the alarm bells on this back in January. Quicksilver store, nothing new. January 2024, you can see that just underneath me. Just that. Uh, yeah, got it. So... It didn't actually trip over these items did not move so from when we got all the reduxes end around christmas time all the way up to when omega dropped we didn't have any quicksilver items come into the store and that's why i've put out this post to say only five hours left on the omega expedition will the quicksilver store start back up i'm worried that the quicksilver store won't start back up and we might not see these things until maybe the autumn and winter of next year because they play in part to the season and Quicksilver items are kind of seasonal and these would make no sense for this season. Either that or we might get something new in place of these. Perhaps Hello Games will realise that maybe they forgot to kick these over in January and maybe might put them over to this year's winter editions. But, you know, just because they're eye statues... Heck, you know, somewhere in the world it's snowing, isn't it? So, so what? They might just put them out anyway. But anyway, that was my question over on my actual community tab. Will it start back up? I've got a feeling that it might, it might not. Um, with the whole thing of Hello Games now looking at Light No Fire, could it be that more and more of the team are moving over to that project could it be that more and more of no man's sky is going to be left by the wayside could it be that they are focusing on something bigger and better with no man's sky and they've taken their eye off the ball on the smaller things all of this is possible it's not like that we get roadmaps we don't really get some sort of discussion or dev update from them we can only go by what's in the patch notes or go by cryptic sort of tweets or things that we're noticing inside a game it's not the best communication method I mean, but then it does open up for videos like this. And I fill that gap with speculation. But anyway, so I, I just wanted to point out that I have done content about this before. Back in uh, January 31st, so not long after I've done the other video, I said, is this a bug? Because the actual bar above the Quicksilver store vanished. And I'm wondering whether that's going to happen again. I did kind of think that it might have been tail signs that we might be seeing come into play maybe a rehash of the Quicksilver items, maybe even the Quicksilver missions. But that didn't come into fruition either. Now, when you jump on over and you have a look at different updates that have come in during the months of April, we have had Exomech, which was a fairly cool update, considering now that we've got AI modules that we can put in these Exomechs so they can run around autonomously, almost acting like another player in your party, which is pretty cool. Now, we do know that Hello Games just done a collaboration with Google DeepMind. Was that 
of the offshoot of that Google DeepMind exercise. Is Google DeepMind powering our ExoMech? Anyway, we've got a video on the uh, Google DeepMind stuff. If you've missed it, it's up there. And uh, scroll, well, if I just hit next on here, we'll see the next update. The next update that came out in April was the Outlaws um, update. Now, this one gives me a bit of hope because Outlaw stations appeared inside a game. Well, as you know, we saw a new trailer tail end of last year inside of the Game Awards that showed new station overhaul for the interior and exterior of all the normal stations in game. If they introduced new Outlaw stations in April of 2022, if they were to release new stations this year and they want to make it bigger than last year, putting out those new station types in April would be a bigger year than April 2022. So I am hoping at the very least in April we might get to see the new exterior and interiors of the actual stations coming into fruition. With that, in April of the previous year, we also got Outlaw missions a solar starship type got added, and squadrons. Now, there has been rumour that ship racing might be coming into the verse and iteration. That would kind of be on par with maybe the squadrons and the solar ships if they added in new racing ships. Also, if they added in new missions for the new stations, then an update in April could be on the cards to be the same size, if not bigger than, Outlaws, and the only reason I say bigger than is Hello Games did say that this year would be a big year. So I'm comparing this year to previous years. Now I wouldn't overly say that a mega expedition size was a bigger than the other expeditions that have had previous. I mean, yes, it did do a little bit better than Utopia that we had previous year. But anyway, scrolling down a little bit further, might as well just use this so it jump us to the next instance of April, which was Interceptor. Now, Interceptor was part one of the ARG arc. Now, considering that there's supposed to be four parts to this ARG arc, do I think that could mean that part four could drop in April? Well, considering we had part one in April, why not? It'd be a year to the freaking date to close it off, wouldn't it? So yeah, and Hello Games did say within 2023 they wanted to close down the ARG, but maybe they meant a full year. Not within the end of the year, but a year from when it started. So the end will be April. So part four could drop in April. It could be a decent month for Hello Games. It could be a decent month for us out here in the verse. Hopefully it is. We can only but keep our fingers crossed. I'm only going by what I'm seeing from previous years and trying to make it into current iteration and sort of deliver upon Sean Murray's promise. And Sean Murray's promise was, well, here you go, I, I play an excerpt from Sean of the Murray's. Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. So in Sean's own words, people, it's going to be a big year for No Man's Sky. So you would assume that we can compare this year to previous years, just like I'm doing. And from that, I would like to hope that a lot of the things that I've just speculated on, new stations, new missions, maybe a ship running ship class or a ship racing ship class, I should say, along with ship racing in game, if it is going to come into fruition and maybe even the end part of the ARG arc. But something inside of my gut is saying, Captain Steve, no, all of this isn't going to happen until the summer of this year and it's going to be delivered in a massive update. The only thing to really maybe set as expectation is we might be getting another expedition. Maybe they might swap out bases inside of the featured bases area inside of the Nexus. They might change up the Quicksilver items, add in a bit more polish and add in slight variants to content, but nothing major, nothing great, nothing that's going to make you go, oh my God, I've got to jump back in and play. I honestly think they're saving everything until the summer so they can do a big gib update like a massive update that's on par with next or origins and really blow us away and really draw in that attention i wouldn't be surprised if they roll out another expedition along with the free to play stuff like they did in the previous one to get more interest get more people jumping in having a look at no man's sky just to sort of wet their feet and then give us something bigger that's what i think people anyway hopefully you're on the same page as me if not or if you are sound off in the comments let us know let's get some conversation going let's get some debate in there heck yeah what's awesome. up and uh yeah if you like him what you see please hit that like and subscribe thank you very much until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again